This is just a general overview of the griffin wings. There's seven colors as you can see here. Just a shot of the stalker girl from Esme. And full Dyson support for Poser. Now the wings will suit any character that has a chest bone. And what it does, it sits, basically sits on the back of the chest bone and you can use these adjustment dials to get them to fit and suit any character that you wish. I'll take you through a tutorial of, the, um, of creating your own presets for different shapes. Okay, where you can find the wings is under People, it's in Genesis, under Props, and there'll be another folder called Wings, and there you have Gargoyle Wings. So really all you have to do is just grab it, throw it onto Genesis or whatever figure you want, So at this stage I haven't got it dialed up, so um, I'll show you the, um, where you can find the wings. Normally I, 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 I just click on the select tool, click on that, and you'll see them in the list over here. Um, under parameters, there's a few different um, dials. We'll go through them um, panel by panel. First one I've got here is um, is the uh, actor panel, and this is basically just fits for different characters. So I've got Genesis Light. I'll dial up Genesis. It'll it'll put that put that on there. Now if I had the Genesis male male um, Genesis two male, I t I would dial that in. Freak 4, obviously I dial that in, it's for whatever character, Anubis, I've even got the MS Lycan, but, but we'll, add, um, we'll add some more presets later on. So that's basically what the actor one does. Now to create the presets, we'll need to dial up these adjustment dials. So what these dials do is um, the first one, front back, that ba basically moves the, the wings in and out. And if you want to move your wings in and out like sideways, that's, where that, well, that's what that one does. This one moves it up and down on the back. Um, you'll, if you want to scale them up, you can. This will work in um, Poser as well, so um, that's been fixed up in the latest Dyson release. And you can also tilt the wings a bit. Now the next styles I've done is, um, it's called Styles. Now these should not be used with any other um, any of the other dials because they're basically bending dials. So the morph bending morphs they're not nothing to do with the bone movement or anything like that. I'll just give you an idea. So curl back like is that one. Um, Curl down. If you want to really stretch it out, you don't have to. It's it's just a an extra option. Um, curl up. That can that's a nice shape if you um, want to display it that way. I've also got feather feather length, which could be done well. It's uh, you're not really you can't really do them both together. And fold which is a little, it's got a rotation in and a curl down one.
Rightio, um, the next style that we have is called um, wings and this is really your motion dials, how to get the, all the wings moving the way you want. Um, curling the ends up, obviously self-explanatory. Um, we'll skip the, we'll leave the flapping one to last. Wing scale, again I just thought that you might need it in two places so I just put an extra one in there. Um, curl back, wings back. Now these are all bone driven um, ECR ones. Um, wings down, well obviously just, there's not much movement in there but you don't really push the wings that far down. Wings front, that curls around nicely like that. Wings twist. And wings up. You can um, you can um, combine these without too many problems. And this one, the flap front back, is really meant for animation. So you would basically you'd start a keyframe from a zero position, put them back, hit another keyframe twist in front, hit another keyframe and so, so on and so forth. Now you can um, say you wanted the wings a bit tilted, these still work perfectly fine. And you can move, the, what these do is drive the wings front and wings back dials. So really you don't touch those, but the other ones you could um, like twist and wings up can be used in conjunction with it. And I think even if we put the curls on the end, yeah, that will still work as well. So that basically gives you an overview of the um, what the dials do and where they can be be found, and um, more to come. Okay, um, in the props folder under the Genesis and the props folder in the wings folder, where we um, got the gargoyle wings, there are two additional uh, folders. One is for materials. And the other one is um, already preloaded figures. So I've got my um, big gargoyle guy here. Uh, let's say we load, just double click Genesis 2 female. And that's already loaded. The wings will already have. Um, under the active ones, you'll see the dial, the morph dial is already dialed up. So that's basically what they do. Um, the materials, obviously, you just need to make sure you have the wings selected. Blue, grey, green, red, white, and black. There's two different, um, there's one for bones and this one which is the default one is actually was made with uh, the gargoyle, Genesis gargoyle in mind. So file new. If we go um, into preloaded, oops, sorry.
So the wings were, so with him loaded, you'll also see in the actor one that uh, Gargoyle HD at 100%. This is just a, a, a quick preview of the gargoyle himself. Um, we've got geo-grafted um, horns, also a geo-grafted tail. I'll just take off um, the loincloth. Close your eyes if you're offended. So, and that basically is um, why I made the wings in the first place was for this character, but I just decided, oh, why not let it be used with other characters? Some of you guys might want to use it. And um, next we'll have the uh, preset tutorial.